Hello and thank you very much for tuning in to the podcast series by the New Silk Road Project. I'm your host today, Charles Stevens, the founder of the New Silk Road Project. This series is dedicated to understanding and raising awareness of one of the most important development strategies of the 21st century, China's Belt and Road Initiative. The centerpiece of the New Silk Road Project, an initiative supported by Jeep, CSIS, Magellan Capital, the University of St. Andrews and Dennis Shirah, was to travel the course of the Silk Road Economic Belt from London to Yiwu in eastern China, interviewing the key actors and academics along its course. We will have to apologise in advance for some of the tangential moments in this podcast series and also the variable quality of audio footage. We do hope this series sheds important light into China's growing global presence and the significant changes taking place across Eurasia. The Hualing Group is one of the largest foreign investors in Georgia. It is also helping other Chinese companies come to the country. We had the pleasure to speak to the Director General of the Hualing Group in Georgia, where he told us a little bit about the company's engagement. What was particularly interesting was some of his views on the Belt and Road Initiative. Indeed, it was the first time we actually had a Chinese perspective on the project. In his words, he believed it was about establishing a community of common destiny. It means to be developing together, notwithstanding the difference in culture, in nation, and to be able to use your advantages to the fullest extent for the mutual benefit. My profession is mechanical uh, manufacturing, so I've been uh, working in China many years and after I uh, started, I, I joined Hualing Group China and then when we started operating in Georgia I came and I've, I've been living here for many years already. And the Hualing Group was started in Rumqi in western China. Why was Georgia chosen as the first international market for Hualing to penetrate rather than another? Uh, Hualing Group was established in uh, China, Urumqi, uh, in uh, 1988. And uh, we are a company that mainly operates in the field of um, like, uh, big-scale uh, markets, like shopping centers. And uh, our main um, production was uh, products were um, exported to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. But as we grew, we decided to find the new and interesting market, so here we are. And the Tbilisi New City is one of your signature development projects. What have you learned from your previous projects in Georgia and, and what lessons have you applied to? Um, our uh, experience in China was very important for us and it was very helpful when we came uh, to work here in Tbilisi. So uh, I had an experience and I had a chance to, to build a city, like a very big shopping city in, in China from zero. So this experience was really very helpful. And from my knowledge, you're involved in seven key sectors in Georgia. What synergies have been created with your involvement in these sectors? So all our projects were developed one by one and according to the real like market requirements in mm -hmm. Georgia. So first we started with uh, wood processing mm -hmm. and shortly after we purchased the old uh, auto factory, automobile factory in Kutaisi and we started developing the free industrial zone. Uh, nowadays we have many companies already operating and manufacturing inside this um, Hualing Kutaisi free industrial zone. So I can say that all our projects are related to each other and developing together. As for the Tbilisi New City, this project was developed in coordination with the Georgian government, especially for uh, 2015 Youth Olympic Games, mm -hmm. because it was very important at the time that this was a very successful project. So um, also uh, we decided to build this um, big shopping mall. And I can say that all these projects are successful. Also, we entered the uh, financial sector as well. As you know, we have uh, we are owners of Basis uh, Basis Bank, mm -hmm. and so Basis Bank can uh, you know service also our many tenants that we have in uh, Tbilisi C Plaza. So uh, that's also a proof that you know all our projects are you know interrelated. And also, our bank has quite a wide portfolio of clients. I can say. Mm -hmm. And I know wine exports is an area which the Hualing Group is interested in. How would this incorporate into your broader, broader strategic vision? 
we in Huarling Group, we love Georgian wine, mm -hmm. but we are not actively involved in the sector because there are so many Chinese companies, big and small Chinese companies, who are exporting uh, Georgian wine to China, and we are, uh, it's not our main focus, let's say, so we are not like heavily involved in this. And the general director touched on it earlier, but the opportunities in the financial sector, what, what reasons did you have for, for getting involved in this area? So financial sector, of course, it's uh, very important for, uh, for a country and it's very important for the development of um, different enterprises, especially the fast developing companies. And for us, it's, it was a new area. Uh, it was a challenge, we can say, but mm. Georgian financial market is not, uh, is not very big. So we believed that we could do it. So that's why we, we took up this challenge. And what strategic coordination has there been between your Georgian and your Chinese businesses? So we can say that we have similar projects here and there. Uh, we are developing like big scale trading centers. Uh, so Georgian government is paying very big attention to tourism development right now as well. So we are working closely with both with Georgian and Chinese governments to find the you know the best ways to uh, implement more interesting projects. And as well as George, the Georgian political elites focusing on tourism, they're also looking at developing Georgia into an economic centre and also a cluster and a, a hub for light manufacturing. What opportunities does Hualing see in this regard? So we are a logistic company, so we try to we work like closely like around this area. So we think that uh, there is a very big, uh, a lot of opportunities of uh, development here because China and Georgia are working very close now and there are so many big companies involved and interesting in the, interested in this uh, area. But we try to um, we try to work closely to our main focus. We don't, we don't like to you know, go too far and to reach like, too many other areas which we are not experts at. And the development of the Belt and Road Initiative is, is important both for China and also for Georgia. How is this influencing Hualing's medium and long-term decision-making? So, um, the Belt and Road Initiative, as we all know, was raised by uh, China's president, Mr. Xi Jinping, and its um, goal is to create the community of um, human destinies. So um, it's a great project, and uh, what we can see is that Georgia is trying to actively being involved in this initiative so it's um, helpful for us and as a, as a company we try to be involved more and to work closely with the Georgian government and other companies and to make our small contribution in this uh, great initiative. And what does a community of common destiny mean for your general manager? It means to be developing together um, notwithstanding the differences in culture, in nation, and to be able to use your advantages to the full extent for the mutual benefit. And has the Hualing Group had any coordination with the Chinese government with regards to the Belt and Road Initiative? As you know, this uh, Belt and Road Initiative was raised in 2000, 2012, but we came to Georgia earlier. We came here in 2007. Mm. So we could see the uh, prospects of this beautiful country at that time. Uh, so I think that uh, as an enterprise grows, it needs uh, more help and support from the government and uh, you know, to come out of the country and to be able to interact and work closely with them. Um, uh, companies of other countries and so for me it's very interesting to be able to be here to invest our money in Georgia in this beautiful area and to develop and to make our contribution in developing of Georgian economy for me this is the essence of uh, you know like uh, human fate and what similarities do you see or differences for that matter between Chinese and Georgian business culture so Georgian people are very sincere they're very hospitable uh, and I think we also Chinese because we are both like ancient nations and that, that makes us very much alike. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think we can work closely, we can work together towards the same goal and uh, cooperate really well. And what, to what extent do you see Georgia as a strong entry point for Chinese companies into the European Union? Um, I think that uh, we as a um, entrepreneurs we can only you know uh, seek support in um, 
trading relations of Georgia with other countries. But I think what's important is that a company should base on its own efforts, on the quality of its products, to be able to enter you know, the market of another country. So we cannot, uh, we can't hope that uh, like government will help us with that. So we have to do it ourselves. We as Hualien Group, we are trying to help other Chinese enterprises who are coming to Georgia. We are like a, trying to build a platform for them, like uh, share our own expertise and our own experience here, which we accumulated here in Georgia. But it all depends on them, how their you know, developing, will, development will go, because uh, we can only depend on ourselves. And what are your primary aims over the next five years? So as you see, we have a huge project area. It's 420 hectares. So our aim is not only for five years, maybe even, even more. We have to develop, we have to build a, this area to be like better. So we have a lot to do. So right now we have developed only like 30% of this area. And we have the rest 70% to be developed. So we have quite a lot on our, in our hands. And how do you think perceptions have changed of Chinese companies in Georgia over the last five years, or even longer, if you would like, since you've been here? I think that for a company which starts to work in another country, it's very important for them to respect the culture and respect the, you know, the, the customs. And um, only like this, this uh, company will be able to work productively the country. So that, I think that's the, what, what Chinese companies are doing. It's very important to you know, emerge in the, in the local culture. And if I may ask one last question, if you were to summarize the Belt and Road Initiative in one word? Um, so he's saying it's building a community of human fate.